and now I'm going to apply grease as you can see some grease and I'm going to insert this one right here and I'm going to press the key in so it can go in in all the way now it's in and then press it all the way like this and now the connecting rod is together with the piston so now I'm going to remove this clip and I'm going to install it right here by using this player like this and then I'm gonna press it like this all the way until it gets in like this see and it is completely in I just wanna hit it a little bit because sometimes it stays outside of the groove so hitting it make sure it, it makes sure then the groove uh, the, the clip goes inside the groove so that way you will prevent problems so the piston and the connecting rod are together and remember the exhaust side this one over here this is for the exhaust ball gotta be in the same direction of this area of the connecting rod and this arrow gotta be pointing to the front over here the cap of the arrow the cap of the uh, connecting rod with this arrow gotta be pointing to the front so the piston is gonna be like this and this one is gonna be pointing to the front as you can see so this is the way you wanna put it together so now I'm going to remove the cap I'm gonna take the bolts out and remove the cap okay the cap is out as you can see don't worry if you see this on the connecting rod this is the way they look like they look like they're broken but they're not that's the way they are see over here is the same situation just remember to put it in the same way how you remove it otherwise something serious can happen so everything is clean here now it's time to install the connecting rod bearing here is the part number right here of the connecting rod bearing if you want to know it DD15 specifically so I'm gonna grab the bearing and I'm going to place it right here as you can see the black one goes on top I'm gonna align this one right here and as soon as it's aligned I just press this corner right here and the bearing is completely seated in his own location and I wanna do the same with the other one this is the silver one that one goes to the cap when you start that one on the cap I wanna apply some grease now over here and now the bearing has grease and the cap has the grease with the bearing so now it's time for the piston ring distribution as you can see on the screen at this moment that's the way the distribution gotta be A B, C, that's the way they're gonna be. A, the first ring, which is this one over here. B, the second ring, and C, this, the other ring. So that's the way they're gonna be. So in reality, they're gonna be like this. Like this, as you can see, the C is gonna be right here. A is gonna be right here. And B is gonna be in this way, as you can see right there. So this is the way they wanna be. So, I'm going to apply oil to it just make sure to follow that uh, picture the one I showed you at the beginning it gotta be this one over here see the other one it can be right here and the other one gotta be right here all right so I have the oil applied to the rim distribution remember this is zero degrees this one 120 okay so 120 degrees on all of them so um make sure to double check that multiple times you don't want to make mistakes if you don't do it right it will be problems with the power or consumption of oil in, uh, um, of the engine so i got it this i got it there so pretty much 180 120 so something similar to that there is tolerance where it can just be 
Okay. So now I'm going to use the tool to install the piston with the rings. This is the part number of the tool for DD15 engines. Okay, so this is the tool. This is the ring compressor. This is the way it looks like. Front top. So all I have to do is to apply it all the way over here. It gotta be a completely flat surface. Flat surface. So now I'm going to close it like this and this one like this. Like this. And making sure at the same time that the ring's position is still at the same position. Otherwise something can happen. And once the piston ring distribution is completely on place and you are completely sure that everything is on place, we have to close it all the way. You have to make it all the way like this. Uh, mm -hmm. All the way until it closes completely. It has to be completely closed like this. You can see. It is all around. So the ring distribution gotta be exactly where it's supposed to be i mean like it gotta be somewhere around that but not too exactly but it gotta be very close not too far away so now it's time to start the piston it's ready for installation so make sure that the clips are on place both sides both clips very important and now we have to make sure that the cylinder walls are clean and the cylinder gotta be new if you don't know how to replace the cylinder you can check the video right here at this moment where I I make I make a different video how to replace the cylinder liner if you wanna know those details about that. So gotta be completely clean and I wanna add some oil around. Also the crankshaft gotta be completely clean, remember that. So now I'm going to insert with the tool the piston inside the cylinder liner like this as you can see. It gotta be completely seated, completely flat surface with the cylinder liner. The arrow facing to the front, this thing facing in this direction where the exhaust valve goes, and, and the connecting rod on that direction, as you can see, facing the exhaust on that uh, curve thing it has. So now I'm going to press the piston softly all the way down very soft don't press it hard because it can go all the way fast to the uh, to the bottom and you don't want that you wanna press it slowly and it will go down see it went all the way down by itself after pressing it slowly so now what I have to do is to align this to seat it on the crankshaft I'm gonna align it and push it, pull it down so it can sit on the crankshaft. Like this, as you can see, it's completely seated on the crankshaft. So now, what I have to do is to place the cap in the same direction as the connecting rod, remember, with the arrow to the front. But remember, the cap has to have the bearing and the new bolts at the same time. And we wanna place the cap, as you can see, the cap is already in place. I'm gonna tie the bolts to around 50 pounds. This gotta be completely sealed, as you can see. You don't have to see a groove there. You can see it's completely sealed, the separation between the cap and the connecting rod. So it gotta be completely sealed. And this completes the piston installation. So I'm going to do the same process with the other five pistons left. And then I'm gonna get back to you. Okay, the six pistons are completely on place. You can see there is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Make sure to check the position of the pistons, the arrow to the front, and the exhaust J brake valve has to be cut over here, has to be here in the piston. You can see all of them gotta be in the same position. You can see so 